there. Lisa Wheeler here in Medford, Massachusetts in my home office. And I'm going to uh, give you a free technique, some free techniques as a way to excite you about our new course in Bloomfield in October, October 4th, 5th, and 6th on advanced infectious disorders. So the movie stars of this class will be telomeres, endothelium, interstitium, and a series for uh, treatment of, of with people with, that have had radiation treatment. And Chris A. will be giving a more in-depth overview of all that material. I am going to give you um, two techniques um, on the differentiators, two new differentiators that we found for connective tissue and skin that you can include with the other differentiator uh, material that we gave out in the level one infectious disorders class. So um, uh, just a general review of differentiators is that what it's great for is a great, um, a great piece to do with type ones. So type ones are about getting a structure free from its neighbors that are encroaching on it but it doesn't give a structure a sense of clarity and differentiators bring clarity to a structure so while you can do a type 1 and get that that structure separated out it still may not have a sense of like who am I what what am I supposed to do whereas differentiators really help give that structure that sense of oh I'm a bone I'm a blood vessel I'm an organ this is what I'm supposed to do so it's uh, really helpful for that so a little review of how to work with differentiators is uh, usually when I'm treating someone I'll, I'll find an, uh, I'm working on something and the tissue just will feel a little confused or mucky or I just can't get a sense of what's going on you know, maybe I'm doing a lot of um, cleaning of scar tissue with adhesions, but still feels murky. So differentiators are great for uh, bringing clarity to that area. The other way is to douse from the, um, the ears, um, and that will take you to an area that requires differentiation. So if you find an area that you think might need differentiation, you can always go to the ears and see if they dows to that area and that will confirm that oh yes differentiators would be a great idea so once you find that area and let's see where am I going today oh I'm going to my right kidney so when I go to my ears it goes to my right kidney so that's telling me that my right kidney would like some more clarity please so if I go to my differentiator list and I look on my options there's the visceral system which kidneys and organs so that's probably a great um, great piece to do so when you look on the the differentiator you have four different areas to work with you have the system specific differentiator which what you will do is what I you find your site X which is the right kidney in my case and then you take it to the system specific differentiator which is, uh, for the visceral system, it's the right, uh, the right upper arm. So, you would take the right upper arm, the system-specific differentiator, to site X, in my case the kidney, and it's going to douse to, a, usually it will douse to a new area. In my case, it's going over to my, my uh, left axillary area. So that's telling me that by if I treat in the left axillary area, that will bring more clarity to my kidney. So then you have a synchronizer, an HRM, and a reference point, and I would take those all to the axilla in this case, and that would help my kidney. So once I do that, I go back to the system-specific uh, differentiator, which in this case is the right upper arm and the kidney, and see if it douses to another place. And then I would take that to those energetic phenomena. And basically what I usually do is I keep doing that until the system specific uh, differentiator and site X go to site X. Then I kind of know I've really cleaned up everything in the body that's related to site X. And then I take that site X goes to those three energetic phenomena. 
So that's the basic review. So now I'm going to give you these two new differentiators. This is the one for skin. So the system specific differentiator for skin is the left dorsal, uh, the left dorsal fifth metacarpal plus the soft tissue between the fourth and fifth metacarpals. So it's going to be like right over here. Um, so then you would, um, you would take that plus the skin area, and that'll douse to an area that will that will give you um, the area that you're going to take the energetic phenomena to. The energetic phenomena for skin, the synchronizer is the left bicep. The HRM are the left ear ossicles. And the reference point is the right external carotid artery at the angle of the mandible, right there. So once again, the system specific differentiator is for skin is the left dorsal fifth metacarpal plus the tissue between the fourth and fifth metacarpals. Then the synchronizer is the left bicep. HRM are the left ear ossicles and the reference point is the right external carotid artery at the angle of the mandible. Okay, so that's for skin. All right, so now I'm going to give you the one for connective tissue. Just let me just bring that little guy up, which is going to be right here. Where are you? Nope, nope. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dear. Here it is. I just found it. Yay! Okay, the connective tissue differentiator for is... Um, the system specific differentiator um, is the inferior mesenteric veins interface with sigmoid. Okay, so that's going to be down here. And you're going to take that plus your site X to find what is influencing that particular area of connective tissue that needs clarity. And then the synchronizer is the splenic flexure right there. The HRM is the inferior surface of the heart. And the reference point is the proximal 10% of the ascending colon down here, very close to the sigmoid. So once again, connective tissue differentiator, the system specific differentiator is the inferior mesenteric veins interface with sigmoid. The synchronizer is the splenic flexure. The HRM is the inferior surface of the heart. And the reference point is the proximal 10% of the ascending colon. Okay? So, I hope you enjoy that, and I hope I get to see you in October for our new class. Thank you so much.